to Learning with Laura. I'm Laura Hunter, a longtime experienced English language and composition teacher. I've taught levels from middle school through college sophomores. I'm also a former academic coach. Over a period of 17 years, our high school team won 71 trophies and three national championships. This series of videos will provide information on how to improve your speaking, reading, and writing skills. Each video will offer a different aspect of language and writing that can lead to your moving up a grade level or entering college. The videos are geared toward, but not limited to, homeschool students. To verify my writing skills, I offer you the opportunity to read my published works, a novel entitled Beloved Mother, and a short story collection, Southern Voices. My next novel, Summer of No Rain, will be on the shelf spring 2021. Now, let's get started. Today we're going to talk about why writing is important. I'm Laura Hunter. I'm a writer. Notice that the young lady says you fail only if you stop writing. Writing is one of the key elements in our communication system. So we, it's critical that we learn how to write and learn how to write well. Do you know that people are the only creatures on earth that can write? That's because we have thumbs. Because we have minds that can put ideas together. Writing is just another way of thinking. Let's assume that we are going to tell someone how to make a hot fudge sundae. The first thing we have to say is not put the cherry on top of the whipped cream. We have to talk about getting our equipment together, our dish, our ice cream, our hot fudge, then our whipped cream, and then our cherry. So we have to have some sort of logical reasoning in putting our ideas together. We do that through writing. In order to improve your writing skills, write something every day. Notice what Alberto Marbella says. When I sit at my table to write, I never know what it's going to be until I'm underway. I trust in inspiration, which sometimes comes and sometimes doesn't. But I don't sit back waiting for it. I work every day. In order to become a better writer, you need to have a routine. Morning is the best time to write because our minds aren't cluttered with thought from throughout the day. If necessary, get up a little bit earlier so you will have time to write. And keep a notebook by your bed so that when you awaken, you can jot down those thoughts that you had when you were dreaming. Your dream time is an excellent time to go to in order to get ideas for your writing. You need to write everywhere. So have a notebook or a notepad and a pen handy at all times. Have one in your car, have one in your backpack, have one in your back pocket. The size is not important. It can fit in your pocket or it can fit in your backpack. Just be sure you have something to record your thoughts. If you're riding down the road and you see someone who is driving with a dog in her lap and it looks as if the dog is driving, what a perfect image to record while it's fresh on your mind. Have a goal. Write at least half a page at one sitting. In fact, if necessary, time yourself and write for a certain length of time, perhaps 10 minutes. If you are including an idea within that time minutes and your time is up, you can either continue or if you have to stop, stop in the middle of a sentence. Oftentimes it's easier to begin 
if you would pick up inside a sentence instead of at the beginning of a new sentence. Set your own goal, and when you reach that goal, up the time and length, and try to increase your goal every day. Remember your voice is who you are. You don't have to be present to share your voice. You can do that through your writing. A famous writer, perhaps you're familiar with, Mark Twain, who wrote The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn and The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, said at one point that writing is easy. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. No one will be able to defeat you if you think, you write, and then you speak. So get your pen, pencil and paper and begin to write. How do you know what the wrong words are, Mr. Twain? You read. You read works by people who have been accepted as strong writers. So get your pencil and paper. I challenge you to write, write, and write on.